What if you want to use a single push button for lighting and also for these windows there, shades, and also to open them and also to put them up again and close them again. And how the hell did I get this normal 230 volt push button into my Luxon system? Let's check it out. So I have lots of these push buttons here because it's my former parents' house, 30 years old. So there's another one. There is one for downstairs, one for upstairs. Another one, another one. So I didn't want to replace them. I have, of course, used the wireless motion sensors in air here. And I used a Finder coupling relay to transform the 230 volt signal I received for the push buttons, one for the upper floor and one for downstairs. So I have two of them and these transform the 230 into low voltage, 24 volt. It can be 110 for you US guys out there as well. But just make sure never high voltage on the mini server, you will smell it. And then I go on digital inputs. And now let me show you the config. Here on the mini server, I have my two inputs for the two push buttons, one for the ground floor, one for the first floor. And I use the first floor one here on a multi-click function block. And on a single click, I simply go onto my T5 input. Yes, you can do this without having an Aloxon push button. And if I now simulate it, then you can see if I tap once, then here I turn on my light. And if I tap once again, then the light is off. If I do a double tap, which originally would also turn off the lighting controller, which is no longer the case if I do it with a multi-click because then I don't receive two single pulses here. So I have to use the double click here to go onto the off from the function block. Then on the triple click, I use it once for my windows blind here and I don't go on the open or close. I go onto the toggle because if I stand in front of the windows on the push buttons, then I know if it's closed or not. So I don't necessarily need a dedicated one for open and close. And with the four click, I go onto the toggle of the window function block, which is for these roof windows here. I go onto the toggle as well. And that's basically the whole, the whole thing. Just a side note, as this function block delivers a permanent signal, you can define the times for opening and closing, and then you would have 45 seconds of permanent signal here. But my windows from a German company called Roto, they use pulses. So they need a pulse for open and close. So I transform this permanent signal here. I could use a monoflop, but I used an edge detection because it's more reliable in this scenario. So I go onto the on edge here and the on edge on the close to have a quick pulse here on these relays. I know, I know, I know, I have to make more videos. I love you guys in the comments, really appreciate it. I am currently struggling with the time because I have projects going on. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, which would be awesome. And you could support this by subscribing to the channel, smashing the like button. I would really appreciate it. But then on the other hand, I wouldn't have crazy projects to film. So that sucks as well, but still push the like button. Thanks, man. See you in the next one.